So today is Mother's Day. My older brother, who lives out of town, sent mom flowers. We all kind of got our cards. My younger brother, who lives closer to home, is going to be taking mom out to her favorite restaurant for Mother's Day dinner. Maybe not today. And me, I got my mom a 56-piece screwdriver set for Mother's Day. So yes, today is Mother's Day. And what am I doing on Mother's Day? I'm doing what all the brown men do on holidays that fall on Sunday. I'm coming down to my building and piddling around a little bit. Not piddling with my camper um, because I have not uh, started on that yet. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit. Uh, but uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm piddling around because it's like 2 o'clock and supper is not going to be ready till 4. Mom is, uh, is binge watching uh, True Blood and uh, I'm tired of being in the house. Oh, hot down here. Warm, anyway. So I don't know if I've already said it, but if I have not, to all of you mothers out there that watch or all of you out there who have mothers, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers. And if you have a mom, you better call her and tell her happy Mother's Day today. This is her day to do whatever she wants. And if you're lucky enough to be in the Brown family, um, that means that she cooks food that everybody likes. We're having beef ribs today, barbecue beef ribs, with potato salad and, and all of that. And she's cooking, but she likes to cook. So, lucky us. Um, I am down here today because I have broken one of my tripods, and I'm going to try and figure out how to make use out of a tripod with a broken head. So we'll see how that goes. One thing you might notice is that I am wearing a lavalier or lapel mic. I've had one of these for a long time. Um, but it is a powered mic and it takes a really oddball button battery um, that I couldn't find locally. So I ended up buying some uh, online and bought like a 20 pack. So I'm going to have uh, batteries for this thing for probably the next 20 years because it takes about a year for the battery to wear out. Um, and I also got some little, they call them dead cats is what they call these, but it's a, it's a wind muff. Um, so I'm going to start using this as much as possible to improve my audio quality. Now I also have a new lens set up for my camera and I'm using my, uh, my Get 2P, uh, my really good camera with the aluminum case and all that. Well that aluminum case allows me to put different lenses on. So I actually bought an adapter to use my uh, wide angle lens with the uh, with the close up lens um, combination that I use on my on my other camera on my really good Samsung big camcorder. Well, I actually have this big huge lens on this little camera, so I'm kind of playing around with to see what it's like, see if I like it, see if there's a lot of distortion or fisheye or whatever. Um, but so I'm playing around with it in this video, and this video may turn out horrible, and if it does, I apologize, and I'll take the lens off, but. I'm just going to play around and see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this head that has nothing on it, or one of my tripods, see if I can figure out a way to put a quarter inch machine screw into this so I can use this with, uh, with different cameras. See, they screw them in and then I have some pan heads um, some video pan heads that I can attach to this um, so I can take this broken piece and turn it into something a little bit more versatile. If you want to make your own uh, pieces of equipment for your cameras, a quarter inch machine screw is going to be your standard type to go into the bottom of a camera. So if you have a camera with a little screw hole in the bottom of it, such as this one does, it takes, takes quarter inch machine screws.
No problem. That's what it does. That's what it uses. So, uh, most of the accessories that you're going to find for cameras are going to be quarter inch. Some of them, some of the larger stuff takes three eighths, but then they make a step up adapter to go from a quarter to three eighths. So as long as you've got a quarter inch and you're going to make your own equipment or you're going to fiddle around with your own equipment, you can try this. Now I thought while I'm piddling around with this uh, that I might talk to you about what's going on with me, my health, the camper, anything else that might come to mind um, so I can just kind of talk while I work. How about that? All right, I drilled a hole in the bottom of this. Top of that, I'm going to see if I can fit this down in here. Maybe put it in there with some JB Weld or something like that um, to, get, uh, to get this to stick up at an appropriate level where I can uh, um, put, a, uh, put an attachment on this. So, anyway, about me. So it's Mother's Day. It's been about two weeks since I put out a video. And um, that's because in between the time that I put up my last video and now, we've had off and on rain, and I can't really work on anything in the rain. Um, and I have had setbacks with my Bichette's attack. Um, I keep saying it's no big deal because for me it's not. I've been through this before, but I just didn't realize that I was having a full-blown body Bichette's attack. I thought it was a localized attack. So when I have a full-blown attack, my joints hurt, um, my legs swell, my knee hurts. So there's things going on um, that I keep getting over. But the way Bichette's attack works is it comes on really strong. Then you go into a little bit of recovery. Then it comes on strong again, but not as strong. You go into more recovery. So it's, um, so it's two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. And I just didn't realize I, I was into uh, that large of a Bichette's attack. And now that I know, not real happy about it, but again, there's not, there's not a lot I can do about it. So um, I just have to, have to roll with the punches. That means that uh, uh, I can't get out and do as much as I want to do. I haven't trained jiu-jitsu in like two weeks. Um, and that really hurts my soul. Um, I, I need to train, um, and I can't. So... Um, but I've had some, my knee that was hurting is still off and on hurting and popping. And if you want to know what Bichette's is like, the oddest thing of all things, you have a joint right here where your clavicle, your collarbone meets, um, meets up with your, with your upper thorax right up here with your rib cage. Um, and that joint right now where that meets, that joint is sore, like I've, like I've popped it out of place or something. But I haven't done anything to it. There goes my phone going off. But I haven't done anything to that joint. That's just a joint that right now is, has been attacked. And so, believe it or not, my clavicle joint is sore. So I apologize to everybody that I haven't gotten a lot more done. And I know you guys watch my videos because, number one, I'm the weird guy with no legs. But also because I work on my camper and I travel. And I have not done any of those two things in a couple of months. Um... And trust me, I want to. I already planned on right now, well, not on Mother's Day, but I planned on being down at Land Between the Lakes, which is probably an hour for me, and doing some major camping and getting a lot of videos done. I planned on already having all the work done to my camper. But um, I had health setbacks. Um, I had considered just putting up a video saying, guys, I'm not going to be doing anything on my YouTube for a while until I get fully healed. But I just couldn't bring myself to do that either because uh, I have good days and bad days. Today's a good day, so I'm down here piddling. Um, I, I, you know, I keep saying it is what it is and it's no big deal, and really it's not because I've been through all this before, but you guys have never seen it, um, and I feel like I'm making excuses. Um, and a long time ago, I made a video that said, I'm not going to tell you guys all about my bad days because we all have them, and that's not why you're here. And I still want to hold to that. That's why I don't put out videos on days when I feel like total crap. And I've had several of those. I can't get over that. Uh, that's, that's just what it is. So, so I don't put out videos. Um, 
when I'm having bad days. All right. Let me show you what I came up with. So there is the screw sticking out of the top. Quarter inch machine screw just like this. I have a lock nut on the bottom. And what I did was, was I took this and dropped it, took that other one, and dropped it down in there like that. Worked it through the hole that I put in there. And now, um, I'm going to take this, well, I'm going to take JB Weld. You guys don't know what JB Weld is. It's great for lots of things. All right, weird, so my camera just died. I guess the battery's getting low. Um, anyway, uh, I'm gonna put JB Weld in here. I'm gonna put this cap, this is a PVC cap. Um, I think it goes over a quarter inch. I'll put this on top like that um, and just fill that sucker up with a JB Weld and let it sit and settle up. And then I should have a, uh, a usable, um, what is this thing? <laughs> I lose words sometimes. Tripod. You should have a usable tripod. Hey guys, so I'm back inside. It's been a couple hours since I was down in the building. And uh, just had, whoops, we just had Mother's Day dinner. And we had ribs and potato salad and bean salad. And there's still pie in there. And I haven't had any pie. Maybe I will later, but right now I'm pretty full. Um, I'm just hoping I don't have any barbecue sauce on my face. Um, but it was really good. Um, actually, we had it a little while ago. I had to come in and, and kind of let that settle out. But uh, I just wanted to show you kind of the finished product of what I was working on earlier um, with, my, with my broken uh, tripod. So let me turn you guys around here so you can see this. So here's the tripod, and here's my... Here's my new piece that I bought. This is a screw-on um, head. So I can actually put this on my monopod, which is what this camera that I'm filming with is on right now. But you see, it's really smooth. It's real smooth scrolling. Turn this. So it gets, it's really nice and smooth. And I have my Samsung camcorder on here right now. Just tighten that back up. So, this is the part that I wanted to attach, and because it already had a head on it, but that head was not really was not made for smooth scrolling like this is. It wasn't smooth like that. So this has a quarter inch screw on the uh, uh, on the bottom side of it and I went ahead and attached it where I put this on earlier on the tripod and screwed it down tight and I'm just going to let all the JB Will and everything just settle up just the way it is um, so everything will be um, as tight as possible because this is a really really big head so I want you guys to tell me what you think of the new microphone. What do you think of the audio? Tell me about what you think about the uh, uh, lens that I have on here. Um, I can take it off. I can I can do other attachments. The getting the adapter to put other attachments on um, just means that I have more options for my small camera. So if I want a wider angle or I want to get something up really really close, instead of carrying my 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 big camcorder with me. I could just carry this in a pouch and throw it on there if I need to. So you guys tell me what you think. What do you think of the audio? I mean, right now I have a fan blowing uh, here in my living quarters in my room. Um, so we'll see if that has any effect uh, on the audio and how good the audio sounds. So let me know what you think. I'm going to do my best to at least once a week until I'm finally done with this Bichette's attack and I can get really back to normal. Uh, to at least once a week um, give you guys a video and update whatever's going on. Um, I know it's not the videos you want to see from me and I apologize. You guys like me working on the camper and traveling and doing the things I do um, and this has just been this has just been a bummer for me honestly. Um, but 
uh, at least once a week I'm going to let you know what's going on. Hopefully I can get back to doing what I do uh, soon. And I know I keep saying that, but uh, like I said, I have two steps forward, one step back. That's just the way it is with the big Bichette's attack, and I didn't realize it was as big as it was. Um, I didn't realize it was a whole body Bichette's attack. It is what it is. That's kind of my life sometimes, and uh, I just have to deal with it. So, anyway, once again, to all of you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. Thank you for your comments. I really appreciate the nice things you guys say. Um, in the comments. It really kind of keeps me going when I'm not feeling all that great um, and, and you guys and you guys have such a nice thing to say. It really it does my heart good. So I certainly appreciate that. Uh, again, let me know what you think in the comments about the camera lens uh, and the microphone. And uh, if you have not liked and subscribed, please like this video and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell and I will see you guys on the next video. Happy Mother's Day.